collecting some lambs before the end of winter and this looks like it's getting quite deep so the icons at the top the first one means it's snowing right now the next weather change it should start raining the next one means the crops wet so I can't harvest it yeah but even then it it can be a hassle to grab the tractor put the the weeder on the back and put your narrow tires on and drive out into the field to uh, cut the the weeds and so I, I just you know in this playthrough I have not bothered with weeds I did buy a, a spreader a spray sorry what did I buy? I bought that thing there and then I ended up not buying any herbicide for it because I didn't need to. I did proactively spray one field. Now what that's one thing you can do is once you put crop in the ground you could run around with a herbicide sprayer and spray the entire field with herbicide and what that means is you won't get any weeds on the field growing this year um, so it's a preemptive hit on the weeds but you know I the cost of herbicide versus how much I lose in crop from uh, small patches of weeds now obviously that guy over there where he has vast patches of weeds I would probably say yeah it might be worthwhile getting the herbicide out and actually spraying this field this one is a big field with fewer patches of weeds so I might not bother this one weed infestation I would probably spray that one but any of these other ones 23 also possible consideration this one here it's gonna cost me more to uh, spray it than it is to uh, to just leave it Yes, yeah, we could do that. I'm not doing that. Because um, I like power sliding my tractor. Okay, so sugar cane is uh, on high demand, and so is wool, but we don't have any wool, as I said. So, how's our. Uh, let's go back. So, anyway, so you've got to worry about. And the, the, you've got to worry about um, soil moisture, but you can't control it. There's no irrigation. Um, so you just have to hope it rains. Uh, frost resistance, you kind of can do something about, which is basically don't plant stuff when it's too cold. Or when the weather report says, the weather report says it's gonna be, you know, minus two degrees in a couple of days time that's going to kill your seeds if you plant so don't we're going to go down to minus four on Tuesday just don't plant stuff it's going to be up to three maximum temperature 18 on the first day of spring we're probably going to be able to plant an awful lot of stuff on the first day of spring so that's a good thing plus our oilseed radish might wake up uh, so wheat wheat is depressed we're going to wait till tomorrow to sell the wheat. I left the tractor out in the middle. I know where didn't I? Because we're just wandering around. Let's speed up time. And I'll put the tractor back in the shed. Oh. Gauge drive. So if you drive slow enough, you can keep control of the vehicle. Um, eventually when you get multiple layers of snow, um, you will get ridges forming in the, you know, in the snow, which can make it tricky to uh, control the tractor. So we want it to be six o'clock in the evening. Oh, it's a way to go yet. 
So, any more questions? So, yes, we could buy salt or a... S I don't know where the salt is, of course. Uh, there it is. We can buy a uh, plough and we can buy a salt spreader. And then we can buy... Is it in the big bags? Road salt, big bags of road salt. So we fill up the salt spreader and then spray it around. Um, and it will kill the snow. Now one thing I do recall, since we have snow on the ground, and I haven't tested this in Farm Sim 19 yet, at least I don't think I have. Oh, let's try again. In Farm Sim 17, this was a thing. Plunkus cultivator on the back of your tractor and slow down time to times five. Lower it. Oh look, free snowplow. So that is still a thing in Farm Sim 19. I can plow the snow with a cultivator. Can't steer very well, but I can cultivate the snow with I'll plow the snow with the cultivator. Let's go backwards. There we go. Now we're steering properly. Is that thunder? So the salt and snow plough basically does what I'm doing here, except not quite as efficiently. Um, fold it, so I need to get through that gap. Because the other thing about cultivators, is I don't have anything in this field right now. I unfold this one. Okay, take care VH, have a good evening, and I hope the truck's fixed tomorrow. Oh, I've not tried a silage leveller, but yeah, that would make sense. Now, if I try and do this... Oh, it is a letting me, but the field... Okay, the ground is at one degree Celsius, so the ground isn't frozen. So it's letting me cultivate the ground. Now, let's uh, lift that up and fold it. Obviously, I don't want to plough any of my other fields or cultivate any of my other fields because they've all got oilseed radish in and I want that to grow, if at all possible. So I'm going to keep that connected to the back of the tractor. We'll drive on the uh, ploughed bit of snow so that we don't skid everywhere. And we'll stick the tractor back in the shed. Does, does sound like thunder. Oh, and we can go to sleep for 15 hours. I'm going to do that. And this morning it is still snowing. And the ground is not frozen yet, but it is incredibly dark. Okay. I knew where the light switches were, I could turn the lights on. I uh, guess we could just speed up time again. <coughs> so, uh, 
and not that one, or less. So wheat is a good price. Soybeans probably still suck, yes. So we're going to sell the wheat today, and it started raining. How annoying. So I am going to sell the, the stuff today. So again, these are still just planted because it's too cold for them to germinate yet. And we have no idea how badly the coldness is affecting those seeds. Now the rain should... Oh, we did get a couple... Uh, a deeper layer of snow. Yeah, of course we've got a deeper layer of snow because I cultivated this and it's now snow again. You can see, if you're very careful, does that help? Not very well. But if you look carefully, you can see the ridges where the snow lies thicker. But this rain is definitely going to make the snow go away. Uh, Zero degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm going to slow down time. We'll have another go with the plough. What I'm not sure right now is if zero degrees Celsius is considered frozen ground. Or whether it's not. I have to be careful going through here because this is going to be a little bit treacherous. Great demand at selling station two. Ooh. So, come over here, oh, and skid, and drop. I honestly don't know what, frame, uh, what FPS I'm getting. And yep, the ground is still allowing me to fertilize um, FPS. It should be capping out at 60. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, and now we're struggling. Okay, um, I will attempt to put the cultivator back in the shed, which may or may not. Well, might still have a good chance because there is a large area of you know, zero snow coverage here. It's early winter day two. So as I'm reversing my tractor over the snow, it's uh Push it, the, t the wheels are pushing the snow aside. Kind of like rolling silage. Well, now the other thing you have to watch for is we have snow in the uh, in the tipper. do that. Uh, upload here. Okay. Looks like I managed to get it emptied. Nope. This is still counting. Okay, this weather is still counting as snow. 
Uh, that makes filling up with crops very, very difficult. So I want to get the wheat in there. I also wanted to check what was the great demand. Oh, great demand for potatoes! Don't have any of those either. So, seven litres of snow in the tipper. And put some wheat in there and put the lid on. Now, that was the thing. This, this because this map is not the seasons ready map there are compromises made in the seasons rules so barns aren't so well oh, crikey um, I can turn the help text off now uh, where are we going we are going to sell station 2 so that's the close one So in theory, you can store hay and straw in barns. Um, whether it's loose or in bale form, however, I'll take this one corner slow. In a compromised world, loose hay and straw will be destroyed by rain no matter where you have them. And baled hay and straw is safe from rain and snow no matter where you have them so you can actually bale up straw leave it in the field and if your your map isn't seasons prepared then you won't lose any of it which is a little bit unrealistic so even if you're playing on an un a non-prepared map if you want to uh, what's the, you know sort of observe the the rules of uh, seasons you would uh, always make sure that you put your bales under cover but you do have an advantage on a map like this or mercury farms or if you're using the mercury farms uh, silos or an extended silo you can put you can put grass, hay, and straw in your silo, and it is protected from seasons. Seasons can't see it. Um, I would also hazard a guess that any of the um, bale storage buildings, where you put the bale in a an unload area, and it gets absorbed into the building again it's invisible from seasons so seasons cannot affect it but then as soon as you get it out and run around with it you may start losing it as, as we saw earlier on today with the, the hay I loaded some hay into this wagon while it was snowing and over time the uh, the snow destroyed the hay. It doesn't do it to the grass though, because grass decays at a constant rate after midnight. And the grass has to be out in the world. You, you know, if, if the grass is hidden, is hiding in my silo, I don't lose any of it. But if I put it in this wagon, I won't lose any grass until midnight. And then from midnight, it will start decaying. And the same is true of grass bales. They will, they will survive until midnight and then they'll start decaying. Okay, so that was the wheat sold. About 10,000 euros or dollars since I've got that set up today.
very carefully around the corner. So it's snowing again. Oh, air temps are down to zero. So we'll do a quick check on the uh, health of the sheep. And I may bump up the uh, passage of time again. Oh, yeah. Why is there a bump of snow there? I don't know. Lights off, engine off, jump out. So, still snowing. Animals, check the animals. Uh, animals are down to half. What's the time? 11 o'clock. So, if the animals are down to half, I'm going to need to feed them tonight. The longer we leave it, the longer I can leave it for the next round. Um, so that sheep's 121 pounds, and we should get a new sheep potentially tomorrow. We still have no wool. I'm assuming wool production will start in spring. And that's as far as I want to get. feed the sheep some grass since it uh, won't decay while it's snowing although to be fair the hay didn't decay that quickly I've noticed that on farm sim 17 it does decay incredibly quickly I did oh I didn't reverse nearly close enough there we go Oh, that's a lot. Didn't need that much. The ground still hasn't frozen. Okay, that's all the grass done. Turns out the T6 is a very nice tractor for this farm size. <laughs> <laughs> 